Hello, YouTube. What would you say if I told you my name was Argolfumpf? What would you say if I told you dogs can play the violin? What would you say if I told you that accidents aren't accidents at all? Whether it's a broken nail or a plane crash, someone's evil will is always behind it. No! Oh, that's not good. The truth can be dangerous. But knowing these things can give you the power to stop evil in its tracks. Okay, so... This is Edge of Reality 2. Lethal Predictions. It looks like the storyline is we've got an evil villain who is causing deadly accidents. Fatal accidents! Killing people like that random policeman. I have no idea who he is. Uh, he's probably a character in this game. Anyway, I'm Michael. I will be playing this game for you. I'm going to give myself lots of hints, simply because I've never played the game before, so uh, I'm hoping not to get stuck. I work as a journalist in Universe City. There have been a lot of horrible accidents here lately, even some deaths. The accidents were all investigated by the police, but no signs of foul play were found. The cases were closed. But that was like 15 fatal accidents. How is that a coincidence? I've begun my own investigation to find out who's behind the deaths. Hopefully, we can stop them. Um, I don't think so. It looks like they've already put a curse on the dog Squeaky Ball. Not the dog Squeaky Ball! What is the dog gonna play with now? Okay, this doesn't look very good. Uh, this, this looks pretty bad, actually. This... Yeah, okay, well, hopefully we don't have another victim <clears throat> sometime later. Hello, dear. Come quickly. I've made some progress with the investigation. Okay, Dad. Um, sure, let's uh, get a tutorial. Uh, let's just do special features only. I, I, I think I know how to play this game. Hey, sweetheart. Thanks for coming so quickly. I think short circuits made the electricity go out. Hey, Dad. We should start the emergency generator. Take this. The generator's in the cupboard. Cool. So yeah, it looks like the controls are pretty simple. Like, you click on somebody in order to talk to them, you, you click on an item to interact with it, like this cupboard here, I click on it, it opens. We got a magnifying glass, that means zoom in, so uh, I click here, and I zoom in on this puzzle. And I can click on the valve here to put it on this. So set the pressure gauge to 7, 7 uh, minus 5 plus 3, 7 plus 5 is 12. Divided by 3 is 4. Okay, so we hit this button 3 times. 1, 2, 3. Minus 5, and then uh, plus 3. Because 12 minus 5 is 7. Thanks. Since you asked me to help you investigate, I've put together the statistics for the incidents. Take a look. We should probably get everything organized first. I have these cases scattered all over. I'll gather these. Can you gather the rest? Okay, scatterbrain dad. Alright, so we're going to get all of these various uh, files. Looks like there are four of them. I do not see a fourth one. Looks like I can click here to bring down the blinds. Okay, okay, well what else can I look at? I can look at the dog. What's the dog's name? Uni! Oh, it's Uni, because I'm in Universe City. Okay, we've got to find a way to get her to move. We need a toy in order to get her to move. Alright. Is this a toy? That is an evil bear. Um, that is not a toy. Although I would not mind giving it to the dog so the dog can eat it. Ooh, that looks dangerous. Um, Dad, there's a big puddle of water here. It, it, it's dangerous, Dad. Maybe you should clean that up. Ooh, dog food. Dog toy. I need to find the missing case files, and I, I'm, I'm sure I'll put them there. Ooh, wait, I can look at the dog food. I need something sharp to open this. Okay. Okay, here, Uni. Here's your ball. Come on, Uni. Come on, you want to play with it, right? 
Oh, you need it. You need not want to play. But we got some scissors. I'm sure we open the dog food with this and and move the dog with the dog food. There you go, Uni. Dinner time. Dad, why don't you feed your dog? Seriously, Dad. That dog is far too cute to go without dinner. Oh, Uni, you made a mess. Oh, no. Okay, well, Uni has given us a hidden objects challenge. Okay, so we need to find all these items. Uh, there's a duck. There's a case file. There's a pencil. Um, looks like some of these items a bit more complicated than others. I could, here it says slippers. Two slippers are more useful. I imagine I move this slipper to the other one. There we go. Cool. Alright, let's see. This is a dog. What am I doing with these dogs? Oh, I put the dogs here. <laughs> I put the dog toys there. What's this newspaper? University Biographies. New reporter! Hey, that's me! Honey, I'm so proud of your accomplishments. <laughs> Why is Dad leaving post-it notes on a newspaper in his house? Why can't he just give me the thing that says, Hey, hey, by the way, daughter, I'm proud of you. Anyway, I'm cool. I'm cool like that. I was in the newspaper, and not just because I'm a reporter who writes newspaper articles about herself. Yeah, oh, that's probably a cheater way of getting in the newspaper, isn't it? Okay, now I can move that dog there. We've got all three of the winner dogs. Yay! Okay, we've got all the accident files. We're going to put them down here. Examine each folder thoroughly and determine the cause of death. Alrighty, so let's see this. Gina Evans. She... she froze. Okay, that wasn't too tough. Nick Barnes. It looks like Nick was... Not burned. Poisoned. It looks like poison. Poison gas, specifically. Mike Harris, scuba diver. Scuba diver died at work, so I guess he drowned. Died at work. This guy looks like a firefighter. So, um, uh, burned. Airplane person died at work. Uh, airplane crash. So, Fitz Thomas crashed in an airplane. Looks like all these people died in the early 2000s. I thought this game came out in March 2000... 2000... Not 12, 2017. I think so. I'm not entirely sure when it came out. Anyway, it looks like this person crashed. Car crash, specifically. Ada Evans. Place of death. House on fire. Okay, not too difficult. Ah, uh, okay, so it looks like the number of deaths just keeps increasing. Yeah, it's, yeah, wow, that's... Hmm. I received a letter about a bracelet that can help me make sense of... Dad, what is that? Dad, watch out! Dad, no! That's that evil bear. Why did Dad use gas canisters to power his house anyway? Hi, Uni. Hi, Uni. You're very cute, but Dad is probably dead now. Am I dead? I don't want to be dead. This game just got started. I'm Dr. Beth. We'll do everything we can to take care of you. There was a defect with the old generator at your father's house. It caused an explosion. The police say it was an accident. Your labs show that you weren't harmed, so you can leave whenever you like. Unfortunately... Your father was injured. He's stable for now, but he's still unconscious. That's not good. It's not good at all. Okay, well, I've got my phone, and here's me. I'm Sarah. Oh, boy. And today is 2013. Okay. Okay. Uh, patient admitted after an explosion. No severe injuries. Fantastic scarf. As soon as she wakes up, she can leave. Let's take all this medical stuff off of me. And then let's leave. <laughs> Wait, they they brought the dog in with me? Okay, why is there a dog at a hospital? Shouldn't that be against hospital policy? Whatever! Whatever, anybody. It, whatever, whatever, 